Hi, this is a to the world to share how to copy a worksheet to a new workbook and rename according to the name of the worksheets. For example, we have a lot of sheets here. If let's say we would like to copy and create one by one, this may be time consuming, especially we have a lot of worksheets in a workbook. So what we have to do here, we just have to write a code in the Visual Basic and we run. So we go to developer tab, look for Visual Basic, and we insert a new module. As usual, we always start by giving a name to a new project. So for example, this is going to copy shape. So I will use the name copy shape. Okay, what we have to do here, we have to bear in mind that as we can see, the numbering of the sheet actually not in sequence, which means that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, but jump to 90. So let's say we want to use the follow for i equal to 1 to all together 10 sheets here, then this will result an error when we reach the sheet 90. So instead of using this method, we can actually create variable, a dummy. So always start by defining. So we define, we have WS as the worksheet. So we define WS as worksheet. So what we have to do every time we just call for worksheet. So as long as it's a worksheet that we Call, call, call. So without referring to the name of the worksheet or the numbering. So this will be saved without any error. Okay, what we have to do is for each WS, means that for each worksheet, I need to refer in where active workbook dot worksheets. So this workbook, we have a lot of worksheets. So we just call one by one. Now what we have to do as our intention, our aim is to copy to a new workbook. So always start from copying. So WS, this worksheet, we copy. Once being copied, then what we have to do here is of course we need to create a file. Create a file which means that we need to change the directory. So we change the directory so that we have a file. Now, what should we put here? What is the path? If I say we have no idea, doesn't matter. And we just refer to the location of this original file. For example, this is the folder where the file located. So what we have to do, we just right click and then we look for properties then we can copy the location. Or the other method, we can go to the location here that we copy. Either method will do. Next is to paste at the change directory site. Remember, always give quotation marks for the beginning and at the end of the location. So next is now you want to save this workbook. So active workbook dot save as since it's a new workbook. So we apply save as then what we have to save as we must rename. So the file name is equal to, we can make use of the location if let's say we want to put them in the same folder. And we also paste it here. Remember, always start with quotation mark. Remember, we need to add slash so that we can give the name. So as we can see, usually we have to write the whole thing 
including the name. But now what we have to do here is we want to rename the file according to the name of the sheets here. So what we have to do, we need to close, okay, put the quotation mark and then we join using variable. So what we have to do here is join using the emphasis. Then we just make use of the good active sheet. So once this worksheet is being copied, so it means that we take out, then this will be in active mode. Then we copy, okay, then what we have to do is refer to this active sheet, the name. So dot name, okay, then done. What type of file we need? Okay, emphasis, then we continue. Okay, remember quotation mark dot. Okay, then the file type. Then let's say we want to save as Excel without macro, then we use X L S X. So if let's say we want to have macro, then we put M. So it depends whether we need macro or not. Okay, so let's say we don't want macro for this file, so we just put X, then close, okay, the quotation mark. Okay, once it's done, okay, of course, we need to close it. If not, then too many files is open mode. Then this may slow down the process of the running. So we have to close it, active workbook dot close so we don't have to worry that hey, do we need to save no need because here already save as means that we already save and we just close directly that everything will be fine okay so we start from four so if i say this already being completed done then we should go to the next okay then we done so this is the Coding that we should have. Now we should go and check what is the output. Okay, before we click to run and see the output, okay, so let's restore down so that we can see the file being copied and created. Okay, let's run so we can see. Okay, copy one, copy two, three. Four. Okay, and continue until the last sheet. Okay, once it's done, completed, okay, we can simply click and check whether it's the same. Okay, so the first sheet are same. So we have this. Let's see whether it's the same thing. Okay, as we can see, oh, it's the same. So this one correct. Okay, then, okay, we check for the other one okay or so we have this image let's check so for the one four okay yes it's the same image so correct so we check another one so ah correct thanks so we have thanks okay exactly the same okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you